Hello, artists of all shapes and sizes. Today is Freestyle Day. On today, the 19th, 18th, 18th, Ooh, 19th tomorrow, 18th of February. It's a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So today's theme is cyberpunk. But you, you can do whatever you wish, but hopefully you'll draw, you'll break out your program or your pencil and paper. And for an hour, we're just going to draw whatever we like. I am continuing what I started yesterday. All characters for a story, a cyberpunk story called Project Pandemonium, which is futuristic LA. We have Dog, Love the Waif, Mendoza the Detective, Kettle Beros, the cyborg, the hidden, or the man with no name, and the hackers. So let us continue. Well, this is some of the concepts we did for this cyberpunk story. But I want to update this guy. This is the character dog in a, a Marty McFly-esque costuming, just to try to figure out what his style, his look is. I like this image, but I think he looks too old. He looks a little older. And I would like, I want my character between around eight to 13-ish. I'm not gonna make him look super young, but you know, a bit younger. So I did this mock-up. If you're interested in watching this process unfold, there's the video from yesterday, but today, let's sharpen this guy up. So as always, I don't want to mess up. So, actually, but always name your layers, kids. Let's say dog. Always name your layers and always save often. But you already know this, right? Copy this. Let's duplicate this layer. Dog copy. Yes, I do. We'll turn him off. On this new layer, we're going to hit the E for the eraser. Hit a number like 40 for 40% strength of the erase. And I just, I want the lines. I just want to knock them back a bit. Right, I could say, you know, change the whole thing, opacity down, but then my lines would be lighter too. So if I want to keep my lines at full strength, I just knock this guy back. Increasing the size. And this is what we're going to draw on top of. I do this a fair amount. Where I take an image, I blow it up, I draw, I sketch on top, and then I then draw on top of that. And you can do this as many times as you feel like because the end image is all that really matters. Nobody cares about how many takes did it take to get the image that you want. It's like as many as I feel like. All right. And if you want to show it to somebody, you might want to clean it up, but overall, not too bothered by it. Let us change it to black. And we'll go over this. So again, I'm going over the shape. And usually young people, right? Their head shape isn't as long, right? So a head of an adult can be a bit longer. You have the mandible, down to the chin, the ear, eye line, brow line, nose line mouth line, side plane, 
right? But a younger person, they have different, slightly different proportions, right? Their cheeks are chubbier, their eyes are larger, and there's more rounded shapes. So his, And of course his eyes are larger. All right, this guy can, he can have a slit for an eye. But children and younger people usually have larger. It's what makes them cute. But anyways, <laughs> continuing on. For this character, I'm not going to try to labor it too much, but and he has a frohawk. It's just a mass of curls, and this is his defining hairstyle. As you can see. So the, sh the sides are shaved, so you can see a, a part of the cranium. His neck is thinner because he has less muscle mass. But he also has his jacket on top. So in this part, I'm just redefining or redrawing the character. And I can do this over and over again until I get what I want. <laughs> right. You don't want to labor it too much. But when you have an idea that you want, I want a specific look. And on this layer, I can even say when I'm done, I can fade this back and then draw on top of this again. Which is the, the great thing about digital work. I kind of, I tend to la labor things too much in digital as opposed to pencil and paper. But it does have benefits and that I can start over again and again and again. But it depends on what kind of artist you are and what your style is. Some people are very loose. Some people are very detailed, which isn't me, but everybody has their, their thing. And who am I to judge? Judgey McDredgerson. And he has his hands in his pockets. His hand is something like I don't know. I don't even know what kind of shirt this is. I'm just I guess I'm making it up. He has pockets. Lots of pockets on this. His pants.
trying not to be too precious with it. Just trying to get this idea down. And usually once I get an idea, I can refine it even further. And if I want to take it, say, color it digitally or color it in watercolor. For watercolor coloration, all I need is the, the drawing because then I'll take that to watercolor paper. I don't know where I'm going to go. We'll figure it out. And I say I'll figure it out because none of this is an exact science, right? This is this is art. It, <laughs> uh, it's fluid, I guess. Which is what I like about it. Do I want two straps or do I want strap? I kind of want two straps. It's capricious, I know. But still. But yes, art can be done on a whim. The style. The way you do it, whether it's digital, watercolor, oils, charcoal, whatever you want to do. Heck, there's even what paper craft. So much you can do with an image. All right, let's side plane. And let's get it on his face. Let's see. So here's his hair. What he has. Hmm, how do I want to do it? His eye line, nose line, mouth line. Young people have daintier noses, button noses and whatnot, but larger eyes. So he can have large, roundish eyes. Right. But for this character, his eyes often are like unamused half. Right. right. He'd have that look mostly. Again, I don't know.
We're just here messing around in the studio. Hmm. I still don't know what type of eyes he has. Alright, so sometimes I do a a sketch off to the side if I'm trying to figure something out. Once more from the top. Eye distance is usually one eye length, right? Just as a general rule. Because people are different. corners and it comes up and is better the lasso because I think this is a little too close so let's move this to the outside oh too far maybe a little deselect back to the brush tool Hair on the side. I just turned the brush tool down to fifty percent strength. Because right now I'm just his hair is a defining trait. I don't want to get this down. And if you stack 50% on top of another 50%, it makes that darker and darker. So if you want to do values, you can. There's a shorthand that you usually come up with. So for his hair, I just have squiggles. Right. Okay. 
Alright. Let's turn that back to full strength with zero. Okay, let's zoom back out. All right, he looks a little younger. A little bit. I can make him a little bit slighter, I guess. Because he doesn't have that older kid body mass. But I don't know. Got pockets. <laughs> pockets, pockets. All right, let's do some Alita while I let this, while I let this sit in my mind for a moment. Sometimes it's good to have something sit in your mind. Sometimes you can see things in a new way. Just take a step back sometimes. Okay, where are you? Okay. So this is some of the gestures we did for Battle Angel Alita. And for anybody who doesn't know, this is Battle Angel Alita by Yukito Kishiro. All right, this is the first book, I believe. But yeah, this is all the ones in my collection of the original series. They've been well worn, well used. And this is the newer stuff that he did after, it's like a time skip, a time break. All his newer stuff. Excellent. I, I really like it. Cyberpunk, some dystopian battle action with some sad stuff in it. But anyways, back to So we did all these gestures. The top ones I liked were this one, which is based off of uh, this picture right here. And then two and three, but I like this one. So I blew this one up and we're drawing on top. And here is where we left off. Let's go to the layer. Do we need this layer anymore? Hmm. Let's fade it back. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it, but sometimes it gives you an idea on what you're drawing. Okay. So let's tighten her up a little bit. So this leg is this, this, this leg is down here. So let's make that, let's make that better. It's yeah, like that. This is slightly down. Let's take that back a little bit. So we have a better indication of what's in front of what. But we still want the idea. Cut 
because in real life you can't see. You can't see through things. But in art, we try to see through. Through things to get a better understanding of what is going on. I'm just working all over it, as I normally do. Don't focus, I try not to focus on any one part for too long. Like sometimes if I zoom in and I'm working on something too long and I zoom out and I notice there's things funky about it. So I, I try to avoid the funkiness, <laughs> which is my technical term for when things look off. Because we don't want no funkiness. Not in this drawing, sir. No, I will not. Not in this drawing. Now let's see. Let's turn that off. What is her hair like? I still haven't decided this. Do I have any examples that I like? So in the early days, her hair was like this, but then he tightened it up a little bit. So let's use this as an example and slide it on over. That will be an example of her hair. Okay. So it looks like there's a part, this, this, and the other side. So let's see. From here. Hold it. I still don't know exactly how I want to do it though. Like that. It's relatively short. I want to cover her face. I don't know. Because I usually like flowy hair. It's kind of flowy. I like that. I don't know. But she has large eyes that she's known for. And if you saw the movie, they were exaggerated. Uh, and she has these pouty lips that I remember distinctly. And she has these markings under, under her eyes. So let's do it. Let's get a 
let's get in close and personal. Okay. Eraser tool. Say 50%. Construction lines. Okay. Now. Let's wait for that. Just a little bit. Command T for the transform tool. And I can move it to the side just a bit. Return. And then Command D for to deselect. B for the brush tool. She's, she's going to be looking down. Exactly happy with this mouth. Still don't like it, <laughs> but we'll get it at some point. Sometimes you can overthink things.
And sometimes it's just time to move on. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Uh, be thirty percent. Well, let's do fifty. Fifty percent. Increase this. better, but still. I don't know. This lasso tool. I think I might have made her head too small. So we shall correct that now. Just a little bit straighter. Welcome to the art, <laughs> the art decision. Because this is all it is. You're making decisions on the fly about what looks good and what looks good at one moment. Like, I'll probably change that back because I'm just that type of person. I was like, maybe it'll look better the other way. And partially indecisiveness, right? Deselect. Eraser. Let's go to 80% strength on this eraser. Let's do some touch-ups. she wear? Well, first off, how about we make sure that she is indeed a girl? She doesn't have ostentatious I can't believe I just said that. Ostentatious breasts but she is a girl. I got the 
चाह जाओगे रेसर Unless this is just playing, just playing. You can take away some of these construction lines so that we can tighten this up. Now when you're drawing, you can use construction lines to follow as a guide for, say, clothing. Because clothes will follow the, the body. And so you can sometimes use construction lines as, this is where this thing cuts in, right? if we're going down or something. But all depends on situation. doing something to clean up too early. strength 
from the eraser. And it doesn't really matter how long a picture takes, as long as you're happy with it. Sometimes it's the best to just take it slow, take a look at it, say the next day, and the next day after that, until you have an image that you're you're happy with. Because you have to be happy with your work. And sometimes it's just a stepping stone to to better, you have to go through a lot of bad images before you can get to the good images. What is her clothing like? It's V for the move tool. Uh, she usually has this black outfit, which is leather, I think, with her arms exposed. This uh, and gloves and some kind of a trench coat on top. But do we want that? We just want the leather part. Or do we want the battle? Hmm. Let's first go with some of the classic. So she has this. Her arms are exposed. She had like dots on her arm, didn't she? And this one, yes. I'm not seeing it anywhere else though. Let's look at the other one. Yeah, this is more her standard look. Although it's modified because she has like this, almost like gloves that go up to her, her tricep, bicep brachialis area. So let's make something like that. Oh, this is, yeah. but yeah, her arms are exposed and it's like a one piece outfit. Okay. Put that back. Turn that layer off. Turn this layer on. Okay. So brush tool. She had like holes. Right. Go to the layer tray. Go to the layer. Where is the layer? You're not the one. You're the one. This is also why you name. <laughs> so you know where you are. What is it? Gunnum? Or BAA. Right? Battle Angel Alita. 
Okay. Anyway, so what I was saying. I don't know if these are vents on metal arms. I don't know. But I can kind of just make it up. She could be wearing pants in this tank top thingy on top. I don't, I don't know. Mm. Let's see. I want that Damascus blade. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Do I want that? It is her signature weapon. And art is a lot of refinement, a lot of time spent looking at your drawing and then refining it. She has a youthful appearance. So I don't want too much hard edges. Just enough.
So command T for the transform and then I can move it too low, too high. All right, we want it just right. quick more or less <laughs> a quick join of the battle angel I might work on this you know, at another point in time but I kind of like it Kind of like it. Needs work, but it's getting there. That's the eraser tool. doing it again or this is supposed to be my outro come on Dre let the people go okay so, so we have some semblance of a a battle angel leader needs work but we're getting there and that was freestyle I hope you enjoyed that wait 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 Hold up, wait a minute. We gotta go over the schedule. Here is the schedule. Today was the 18th of February. Tomorrow, the advanced level is building upon previous steps. So this is where I'm doing shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture. But I think most of this is going to be towards the actual figure drawing. We're actually going to do real people and applying all of this gesture anatomy to the figure. So this, the mannequin anatomy should be fast. Sculpture anatomy should be fast. And the figure drawing will be the main focus, the main event. And we'll be doing that every day as the new set for this advanced. Right, we're gonna get a, a feel for the human body. So I will see you on Monday the 19th. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Uh,